Welcome to today's 3D print. Time for some holiday models. <laughs> So we got some holiday prints. First up, little turkeys. Silly little turkey. These are printed on the ender. That says, I got the new Tron XY X3S. Why not supersize it? <laughs> 320 millimeters across. The thing is freaking huge. It's like a 550% upscale of the be little turkey <laughs> that's cute it's called silly little turkey by dave bob 3 on thingiverse i'll have a link down in the description for this i thought that was cool that was neat then we have the one that's annoying me because for the life of me i cannot find the twitter post and i cannot find the thingiverse download link and all i have is the two stls so i have no idea who made this if you know who made this, please let me know. They posted on Twitter after Joel Telling posted his um, little candy corn colored uh, make a coin using two colors. And I can't find it. I spent the last 20 minutes searching through Twitter and, and Thingiverse and Google and I cannot find that post and I cannot find this SDL. I don't think it's called Candy Cane because I searched under Candy Cane and I can't find it. So if anybody finds it, let me know and I'll add the link. But this is a single extruder candy cane. This is cool. Um, this is printed in Esun PLA Pro Brown. This is in Esun PLA Pro, or this is a um, toner plastics Atlantic Ocean Blue, and this is just um, cheap Creality white PLA, one of the little 200 gram spools that they come with. This is printed in Zyro Twinkling Clear and Red, and here's the cool part. It's not using a dual extruder printer. It's printed as two pieces that slide together. So you print one in one color, and you print the other in the other color, and then the two parts thread together, like that. How cool is that? That is wicked. Now I'm wondering, can I take a heat gun and bend this? I'm going to try to find out. Then we have the 200% upscale, of course, because I have to go big. So this is printed in 3D Sciatech Ultra PLA, they're silk PLAs in white and then this is Yoyi red silk PLA same deal you print them as two separate parts for some reason the red wobbled around a little more I think it's orientation so I'm going to try rotating it 180 degrees so it's in the same orientation as the white one and see if that holds up a little bit better because they wobble a little bit as you get to the top it doesn't really detract from the model it's fine you could support it if you want to but I didn't bother it, it was good enough but these are cool, and they're hollow. They're just four perimeters for nice and stiffness. But you, you thread them together like this, and then you just twist. And they just fall together just like that. Very satisfying. It's pretty cool to watch these things the way they just twist together so perfectly. The guy who made this is a genius. He was showing people how to do... I think he was using Maker Muse's instructions on doing sweeps in Fusion 360 to make this. So he just made two halves so that they would thread together. So you could have yourself a very cool little two-color candy cane without having a dual extruder printer because you print them as two separate parts, which is just darn cool. And I almost forgot the gnome, the Santa Claus gnome. It came out great. I printed this with four perimeters, completely hollow, so there's nothing inside. Uh, and it's perfect. There's no imperfections on this. No no telltale signs, too much overhang. I am going to supersize this little bugger. Let me show you a good close-up of that. It came out so nice. This is printed on the Ender 2. You can see the layers line up so well, it's downright shiny. It's really amazing how good a job that printer does. It's not the highest resolution model in the world, but that's okay, because I'm going to supersize this bugger and put it outside. I want to... I can't decide if I want to print it in white and paint the red parts or print it in red and paint the white parts. Haven't figured that out yet. The red might look prettier, so I might do it in the red and then paint the white parts. We shall see. But more to come. Link for this will be down below in the description. That's it. I'll have more holiday prints in the future. As I find them and discover them, I have a big one that I want to print on the CR-10. So we'll go from there. 
you guys have a great day. And as soon as I find the link and the name of the person who made this, I will add that to the description. I'll pin a post up top with it as too. I'm sorry for not remembering that. I, I must have downloaded just the STLs or deleted the zip file because that would normally contain a link back to the Thingiverse file, but I don't have any of that. And I can't find, for the life of me, where I got this from. I know I got it from Thingiverse. I know I originally got it when somebody posted to Twitter with a Thingiverse link to download this and print it, but I can't find it. So, you guys have a great day.